Karen in Burger King. Ladies and gents, I present to you the anti-Karen, the manager who takes on the Karen. Get out of my store! 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 Hard to tell if she made contact, but if she did, that is most definitely an assault charge. I stopped because she tried to hit my mom, and I had to collect her y'all one part two. Awful scenes, yet commonplace in this country. And here she is, in all her glory, the woman who likes yelling and screaming at frontline workers just trying to make a buck because she didn't get her food in the desired time she wanted. Um, a lot of people want a story time when there isn't really a story time. What you guys see in the video is what happened. I posted part one, two, and three on TikTok. But they took part two down. That's why I told my story that, that last. Um, anyway, but there isn't really a story time. What happened was we walked in and they told her that she would have to wait 25 minutes for the food that she wanted because breakfast ended. They were trying to be nice to her and oblige her, but she didn't want to wait the 25 minutes. So I, you didn't see it in the video, but somebody from the kitchen gave her something in the bag to like she can have while she waits on her food that she wants. But she didn't want to wait and she started yelling. So I didn't start recording at the time because I, th I didn't think it was going to go anywhere because she took the bag and she just started walking out. But then she came back in and then started yelling at the worker again. And that's when I started recording and that's what you guys see. So if you wanted a story time, that's a story time. She didn't want to wait 25 minutes for her food and she got mad and started being disrespectful and that's what happened. All right, I've gone over this many times and I'll go over it one more time. It says a lot about you, the way that you treat those in the service industry. And Doc Ritchie and I talked about this last week. I worked in the service industry. People on this network worked in the service industry. We have been there. So when we see people like this mistreat us when we're trying to do our job, it doesn't fly. The way you mistreat a waiter or waitress, someone waiting at your table, that says a lot about you. The way you place an order on the phone, it says a lot, doesn't it? So let's try to, uh, what's the right way of putting this? Not do that. And start treating each other. Feels like a kindergarten, you know, messaging. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. Even if you don't get your food when you want it.